Enemy SATCOM spotted. Specialist bonus achieved. Hello YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Mark here, better known to the PlayStation community as Cynixel. And today guys, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is something um, that has been talked about a lot recently. Um, I just wanted to give my opinion on it. Uh, the gameplay you would have seen before I started doing this commentary was, well it's not really gameplay, it's a snippet. Basically I joined the game late and um, started, uh, went on a little streak, got a 10, I was in a pretty nice spot, um, you know I really do think I could have got a chem in that spot, you know I've got one before, um, but obviously I lost it because you know stupid uh, Sony getting messed up again, um, but yeah and I get, and as you guys saw the IMS um, is the stupidest thing ever, it just flew, blew up the rock that I was behind and still killed me which is absolutely pathetic. Um, but anyway, um, as you've probably guessed by that, um, this is a rant video, sort of like me explaining what's bad and also what is good about Call of Duty Ghost. So, you know, um, before I get into depth about the gameplay, I'm just going to talk about what is actually good about this game because, you know, um, you know, you always want to start something off with the lighter side. So, what is good about Call of Duty Ghost? Well, what's good about Call of Duty Ghost is... And then that's pretty much it guys, um, so now I'm going to talk about the bad things in Call of Duty Ghosts. So basically, um, this new, um, what's it called, um, the host thing where there's no host, dedicated servers. Um, if you can see my connection in this game, I'm shooting people and then a few seconds later they're dropping. Now I understand I was uploading two videos um, at the time, but I was playing on a foreign host which is absolutely ridiculous and these players were so bad that even on their host they couldn't pick up the kills against me uh, we do lose but you know that isn't really what's important what is important about what's going on in this game and the absolute BS that I'm getting um, while I'm playing Call of Duty Ghost so just a few things that are overpowered about this game um, is the knife now people say that the knife is terrible but I am telling you now um, I will be the knife comes out so fast like if someone see like people who play on default now I'm not knocking you for playing on default you know that's what it is I play on tactical personally um, but when you play on default you knife so fast like um, if you notice a lot of my kills I drop shot because it's just instinctive to just drop shot really quick um, like if I didn't play on tactical I would lose so many more of my gunfights without a doubt um, but as you're seeing some of the kills like that one and um, just you just see I'll be shooting the person and then and then they'll die after I've like reloaded or something stupid um, but yeah that's enough about the uh, connection issues and all that um, BS um, but yeah so the knife uh, you knife really fast like really fast um, so like you have no time to react like I can't get to grips with how to knife because um, I have to press circle on my controller so I have to press B so as you can imagine guys so I'm holding my controller now uh, my right and left index are on the triggers and my thumbs are on the um, uh, thumbsticks hence thumbs um, I have to move to the um, right of my controller to press either B or circle um, to be able to knife whereas somebody just has to click I don't know if you can hear that. It's, that right, I'll do you a little comparison if you can hear it. If not, it's going to be pretty pointless. But it's like, so you say you're playing and you're um, about to nice someone, you just go, whereas I'd have to go. So I'll start from now. 
as you see it's like instant say I'm running I'm running and nice I'm running and I have to, it's like it's just really dodgy it's just much harder if you're playing on tactical um, some of the things are the guns and I know there's been loads of videos but like the honey badger or like you cannot be the honey badger in a 1v1 so like say um say where I am now say someone came around the corner with a honey badger I would lose even if I was you know again had the best um gun skill in the world and they only had medium gun skill they'd take me out because um their gun is just so much more powerful and it's like with um loads of guns there is absolutely loads i could sit here for hours on end just naming guns and attachments and perks that make this game why everyone hates it and the maps i know a lot of people have complained about the maps but i don't actually see what's wrong with the maps like um, I could understand from a spawn killing point of view because I have been in games where people have spawn killed and stuff, um, but um, it hasn't really bothered me because I don't spawn kill that much anyway. As you can see in this game, I am playing solo, and I know I'm doing absolutely terrible, but you know you can understand from the uh, absolute awful connection that I'm getting. Um, but yeah, so you know it was just. I don't even remember what I was talking about. It was just yeah, really long pause there. But I don't even know. I mean, I'm not. Oh yeah, the maps. They're not that big. Like um, Grand War. I haven't played Grand War, and I don't intend to play Grand War. Um, it just doesn't really appeal to me. It didn't appeal to me on the other cards. You know, it's not going to appeal to me now. Um, so I, I don't really think the maps are that bad. I will admit some of them are rather large, you know. Um, but others, others are perfectly fine. Um, and as you see right here, you know, you can notice I'll shoot the person, I'll stop shooting, and then they'll die. Um, but yeah, so that's just a little rant. I don't want to go on too much because I don't want to spoil my day or anybody else's day, and I don't want to sound like. Um, I definitely don't want to sound like someone who's just copying every other YouTuber, you know, jumping on the bandwagon. This just really annoyed me, and I just wanted to share my thoughts. And if you guys have the same problems and stuff, you know, you're experiencing stuff like this, and it's really getting on your nerves, just leave it in the comments. You know, um, what what um, stuff's going on with you? How are you um, doing it and stuff? But yeah, um, so I don't want to spend too much time ranting and raving about random junk. Um, so I'm going to leave probably the rest of the gameplay in, uh, might put it down, so maybe just a minute more, because obviously it's not the most interesting gameplay, uh, I barely go, I, I think I go. I think I do go positive, um, but we lose by like 3 or so points, so you know, it's not great, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me guys, uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, um, do leave me a um, goodbye for care package, don't leave those, um, yeah, they're absolutely pointless. Um, oh yeah, before I go, I do want to talk about kill streaks. I'm such an idiot. I need to like, I need to have something written down. So I need to talk about this, 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 this. this. Um, I'm going to talk about kill streaks really, really quick. So basically, the care package kill streaks is so terrible. Like, it's just what were you thinking? You know? I mean, you get an IMS, a satcom, a guard dog, or a Trinity rocket, or a helicopter. That's about it. I mean, the Trinity rocket is complete junk. It doesn't kill anyone. The supposed smart missiles, um, which are the ones you shoot first. So you shoot two smart missiles and then you control the third one. The smart missiles are about as smart as a banana. You know, I could say worse things, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nice boy. You know, I don't want to be uh, spreading my cussing or whatever you American people call it. I don't want to be swearing around everyone. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so you get absolute junk. The helicopter, that's a decent kill streak, you know, it's actually good for once. Um, the satcom is like, you know, as I'm not even putting in the game, it's in the game to waste the perk and to give the enemy three points because I just, I destroyed a satcom not long ago in the video and you know, three points gets me towards my kill streak, and you know, he's killed me, yeah. I mean, no sense. 
Yo no. I'm such a bad commentator. Oh no. Um, yeah, so because she's a garbage. Um, strike zone now, I believe they have lowered the chances of getting a KM, but we used to like it used to be the first one you call you call in a care package and boom, KM. Call in a call in a care package, boom, KM. It was like oh it's impossible to play. Um, but obviously I'm still going to be playing it because I'm not going to play Killzone. Like, I played the first mission on campaign and oh my baby, it's just so bad. Um, but anyway guys, it's getting right towards the end of the video now and I really need to stop talking because you guys are probably bored as hell and you've probably already left the video anyway. But if you are still watching, definitely hit this channel up with a big old subscribe button. Hit me up on Twitter and PS4 for the ladies and green cold and coffee. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, that's my answer. You know, didn't steal that from no one. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for me, and I'll see you in my next video. K, 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 I'm gonna buy it out. K. Okay, I'm gonna buy it out. Okay.